This week's Photoshop tutorial is all about a color pop in Photoshop. Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and you can find me over at RetailPro.com, the channel where you get to learn everything about photography and Photoshop in weekly quick tutorials. So in this week's Photoshop tutorial, I'll teach you how to do a super color adjustment and a pop onto your image. First of all, we're going to work with some selective color adjustment layers and some hue and saturation in order to get a more vibrant image and to tweak the colors a little bit. After that, we're going to work a little bit with some curves adjustment layers, some levels adjustment layers in order to push the highlights, the midtones, and to give the contrast, the blacks, a bit more contrast overall. So yeah, enough of the talking, let's get right away into the tutorial. Okay, so over in Photoshop in our layers palette here on the right hand side, you guys get to see that we already have a few groups here. So again, this is our before and this is the after. So again, that's what's coming up before and after showing you guys a color pop. For the rest here, again, that was raw conversion, then cleaning, skin retouching a little bit and some pop there, some skin fixes, some dodge and burn, and again, some adjustments and some final crop. So if you're part of our premium member subscription, you'll also get this whole PSD, which you can download again for free under your account. So if you want to get this whole PSD file, maybe be part of our premium subscription. So right away, let's get started with our color pop here. First of all, what I'll do is start out with just a basic curves adjustment layer. So I'll go to adjustments and select curves adjustment layer. And now I just want to flatten the image a little bit and also give it a bit of contrast. My first option here would be now to just set an anchor point right away on the line so that the natural and highlighted tones will not move too much. And now with the black tones, I'll just push this slightly down just to give it a bit of contrast. Okay. And I'll do now a few adjustment layers with curves and selective color. And I will do a few of those in order for me to have more control over the whole image and not do it all individually in certain layers. So yeah, let's actually go on with this. First adjustment layer here is just again curves, a bit of the blacks. Then we go back to adjustments, back to curves adjustment layer. And for the next step, we'll be again adding a bit more contrast, slightly a bit more, all in the RGB master tones. And I'll take the highlights now and push those all the way up. Somewhere like over here, let's have a look. So this is obviously a bit of a back and forth, try this out. Okay, a little bit more contrast. And again, before and after, before and after. Maybe a bit too much contrast, I'll take this up a little bit. Okay, great. Next step would be now playing in the hue and saturation adjustment layer. So in order to just change the colors a bit Currently, it's a bit more orange or yellow over here. I want this a bit more red. So I'm going to go to adjustments and also select the hue and saturation adjustment layer. And right away in the master tones here, so don't switch the tones, I'm going to play a bit with the hue. So again, you guys can also get some really funky colors with this. Again, if you're looking for some more futuristic poster vibes, you can also look at these colors here. Okay, so what I'll do now is mine. I want this a bit more red, like I said. So I'll take this something like a minus 19, 18, uh, minus 19 is actually good. Great, but I'll play now a little bit more with my saturation in order to just make this a bit more stronger. So let's push the saturation up all the way. Like a plus 20, 22, 21 is actually good enough. Let's have a look before and after, before and after. And remember again, you guys can always tweak these colors in order to get some really funky laser colors there. Great, so I'm gonna switch this back to minus 19. And now I'm gonna go over to actually selective color adjustment layers. And I'm gonna work a little bit in the black tones and try to flatten them a little bit and add a bit of a funky twist to this. So let's go back to adjustments. We're gonna to go to selective color adjustment layers and right away we are in the black tones. It will normally be in the reds. So switch this to black. And then I'm gonna work right away with the cyan. Okay, so first of all, I'll also take the slider all the way to the left to the right, see what kind of effects do I get, and then I decide again, okay, maybe just a little bit of some extra red spill there. Like a minus three, that is actually fine for me. Then magentas, also let's take those down a bit, a bit more set, uh, flat in there, also like a minus two, minus three, I'm gonna leave it with minus two. And now with the yellows, I want to add a bit more blue to the whole blackness. So all the blacks here get a bit more blue. Let's go like a minus 14, 15 actually. 
Kind of like 15 there. Great. Blacks, I would push them up now a little bit again to add some more contrast because we also flattened this a little bit. So blacks, let's push those up. Not too much. I'd rather create again another levels or curves adjustment layer for this. Plus three. I'm happy with that actually. Plus three. So again, before and after, before and after. Okay, so now let's head over to the levels adjustment layers. Go to adjustments, levels. Sorry, that was curve. Let's delete again. Adjustments. And we're going to go over here to levels adjustment layer. Because I want to take the whites now, the highlights, and just pop them a little bit more. So let's take the white sliders over here. And move them over a little bit. I'm going to add a bit more contrast. A bit more highlight, actually. Like 180. Yeah, I'm going to stick with that. And also take the dark sliders here, the great black sliders, and move those a bit so we have a bit more contrast. Something like 8 to 10. 9 is actually good. I'm going to stick with 9 for now. Let's also just deselect this again before and after. Before and after. Great. So we've already added a really nice pop to this image. Let's move on. One more step would be selective color adjustment layer. Adjustments and also selective color over here. And I'm going to first of all start out just in the red tones. Maybe giving that red that we currently have just a bit more of a pop there. Okay, so let's take that down all the way. So that's a bit too much. I'm going to go with something like 25... Uh, well, 30 would also do. Let's have a look again before and after, before and after, just to get the glow shining a little bit more. I'm also going to go now into the natural tones. And I love playing in the natural tones. Let's have a look if we're going to play with the sliders here a little bit down, like a minus 6, 7. Yep, adding a bit more red to the overall picture. Let's have a look before and after, before and after, great. I'm also going to take the magentas down slightly, flatten that a little bit, and let's flatten it a little bit more. So I'm going to take the yellows up a little bit, plus three or four. These are very slight adjustments, and obviously you can play with them, take them a bit to the stronger left side or right side. I want to add just a bit of contrast there. And then the blacks also down, flatten them a little bit. Okay, something like minus ten, five. Mm. Minus five, actually, is good enough. Before and after, before and after. Great. So now for the next step and final step, I think I'm going to go into the blacks and also tweak those slightly again just to get the pop back on this image. So let's go back into the black sliders over here. And first of all, I'll take the cyan down a bit. Like a minus 11 or 12, minus 10. Magenta is down. So I'm flattening this quite a lot now. Let's have a look, minus one, yellow, no, wouldn't play too much with this right now. Let's leave it to zero. And the blacks again also flatten those a little bit more. Okay, minus two. This is just a test layer right now, the black sliders here. What I would do now as a final adjustment is just adding more contrast again with a levels adjustment layer. So let's go back to levels, levels adjustment layer over here, and we'll take the highlights. Pop them a little bit more, like slightly, two to five. Hmm, adjusting that a little bit, and then also adding a bit more contrast here, just again with our black slider, black tones. Something like a plus 10 there. Okay, before and after. Great, let's take all of this and put this together in a group with Command G. Again, I'm working on a Mac. If you're a Windows person, please press Control when I say Command. Okay, I'm going to write here color and pop. Great, let's have a look again. That was our first adjustments here before and now a second after. So again, I can now always fall back into this group here and obviously take this selective color adjustment layer and the blacks here and tweak them up a little bit if I don't want that so flat anymore. So the magentas, let's have a look here. Yep, tweaking that again. And the cyan slightly down to minus five. 
Guys, so that is basically it for adding a color adjustment and a pop to your image. Again, remember, you can always fall back in the layers here and tweak again your selective color adjustment layers or again the hue and saturation. You can always fall back in natural, black or white tones, whatever you want to, and tweak them a little bit more to get a really vibrant and unique color. Plus also, you can also add a bit more pop or contrast. So remember, you can always fall back. If you're like me and just can't get enough of Photoshop, then click on your screen right now to subscribe. We send out free Photoshop and photography tutorials every single week. And don't forget, we love to stay in touch, so leave your feedback down below in the comments section or again send us your tutorial request to tutorials at RitaPro.com. Thanks again for watching guys, I'll catch you all in the next tutorial. You are still here, so that most probably means you want to download this episode including the work files. Then wait no longer, have a look, down below in the description is a link directly to our website where you can download all of this for free. Or, or wait, you can also click over here to see some more videos from the channel. Yep, just click over here. Okay guys, that's it. See you next time.